start and important for Memphis to prevent Hartford coming off the good start because they get the fans behind it. The momentum can snowball. Yeah, first involvement for a 17 year old. Sedano. Bruno. Put it out from. In you notice that Andre Lewis wearing the uh, facial, facial protection stuff and his vision may not be uh, very <laughs> international big player in MLS as well clean tackle there's the team 17 year old Dren at De Bruna out of Waterbury wearing number 40 locked down that result two to one Crowd still filing in. Not too many empty seats to be found here at Trinity Health Stadium in Hartford. Maybe a play on here. It's an opportunity for Juan Pablo Torres. Cabruna. Different give and go. Left board of the box. Left to cross. Stays in bounds and pounced upon. All right, stand outside. Lopper. Obviously, the Bruna staying in the action. First sustained possession here for Memphis. Luis Fernandez. And so there was a lot of talk about that uh, iconic you know, for a team that didn't really make a lot of noise in their history. They, they sure are a collector's item. Lappert, well done through double team. Peter Good was that artist who made that clever weave between the uh, Buckmaster. Probably could have done more with that chance, put a red on a Hartford foot. Yeah, Connor McGlynn. Hard for not able to keep that momentum surging forward and we're Tilting back to the right side. Of Mike Pickering is on the bench for this one. How did you expect these teams to go tonight on the bench? Hmm. Well, it depends on. Could be a call. Next up for Memphis be Colorado Springs switchbacks. Also on May 13th, that's Saturday. 17 year old De Bruna. Yeah, positive opening for him this this start, John. Fernando making a run. Like he's a little Double team applied by De Bruna. Once again, here comes Fernando. Good job possessing under duress. But I've got advantage and he brings it back. Goodrum committed the foul. But I Something happened in here. And just cleared out by Hartford. A 1 1 tie Saturday against Louisville. Athletic. The disappointing loss in extra time to Birmingham was just stoppage time. It did not go to overtime. But two leads in that game evaporated for Hartford down in Alabama a year ago. Finished 10th in the Eastern Conference. Ooh, a nice little hustle play by Robin Lapper, the former Yukon Husky, to get ahead on it while he's back tracking. Memphis settling it down, getting on their half of the field. 
Goodrum. Uh, coming up on one third of the way through here in regulation. Awaiting first blood to be drawn. That's going to go on hard. Luis Fernando has been as effective or, or as dangerous as anybody on the field so far. Early decent chances. In fact, uh, in terms of corner kicks, four to one. Yeah, now the goalkeeper will really test it up until now. Helping out defensively. And the team ran De Bruna. Good 30 yard ball and into open. Kabuna. Knocked away by Luis Fernando. Gonna make do with what you have. Elzano had a hat trick against Young. Occurs early in the season. About three minutes ago, Memphis seizing the lead. Kisiedu from Lapper was not on UConn when they played one season here on the surface at Trinity Health Stadium when they were just, just a splendid day. Right, uh, goes down. That's causing problems for Hartford, especially in times like this when they lose possession. Five defenders back for Hartford Athletic. Defensive half. Hartford Athletic would like to extend a special thanks to our partners Jim Beam Bourbon and Hornitos Plata Tequila. Luis Fernando out of Brazil has been a thorn. Handled this time. Ooh, gets a little bit physical with the teenager to Bruna. And he's gonna... Half time on the horizon. Traffic there for the keeper, Hamid, but able to get his fist on it. Too slow. McGlynn bailed out. Head down the wing by Bruna. 